Hello, brothers and sisters. It's Mike from Western New York. I've had a, a number of visions and words from the Lord that I'm going to relate to you. Uh, and it brings me no pleasure to bring you this news, but I have to bring you what I'm told. I'm going to preface this with uh, what the Lord chose as the title. Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. Do not be afraid of what you're about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. So about a week ago, uh, I had a night vision where I was standing before the uh, the ocean. Not, not sure where, what ocean, but... Out of the water came creatures uh, that were formed of water, right up out of the water, first hundreds and then thousands, and then too many to count. And these were ogres, uh, ogreous looking, um, something like in the line of the Hulk, and uh, there were other beasts too, just fearsome beasts. And as they came up out of the water, they went on to land and they went into cities, they went into uh, crowds that were protesting, and as they entered the crowd, crowds, they dispersed. Uh, into just like like that into all the people there and peaceful protesters turned into violent uh, anarchy there's no other way to, to say it now I stood right up to the water and and as these creatures as they some of them came towards me and as they came towards me I realized they had no fear whatsoever and I also realized that with every step they took they shrunk in size until they were my size and even smaller and they and I saw one creature break up into several creatures and and it broke up into everyday normal people you would see uh, politicians teachers doctors lawyers and uh, I even saw a nurse in there and I also saw something else uh, and that was uh, I heard the, uh, the 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 angel it was an angel there with me uh, told me that some of these creatures are slogans and I said I slogans and uh he said yes uh, they'll, they'll become slogans and causes slogans and causes uh and he told me twice with tapping his finger uh write this down write this down so i wrote it down uh both in the vision and the next morning i got right up boom wrote it down some of the things that the lord told me uh, i've been praying about this for nearly a week before i brought it to you and just this morning uh, definitively had a word from the Lord and what he said was that people who claim me yet don't uh, yet don't have life will easily be deceived by these demons um, those tethered to Christ these demons will have no effect on whatsoever and and also that these uh, demons will manifest themselves in ordinary people your friends and co-workers and it's going to fall on both sides it's not just what you what we call in the news the left it is also the right and it's going to lead to a complete clash um, now this morning the Lord knew I'd be doing this today he also told me that this is just going to go on and uh, the central government is going to collapse leaving a void of anarchy and then your enemies will attack a great war will ensue the Lord also told me, and I heard this clearly, the Lord has decreed that the land of America will first burn from within, then from above. Yet if my people would have hearkened to my voice, this would not have had to happen. Uh, you'll see earthquakes, fires, and war. Now, prior to this, I've had a couple of other visions and some of these were night visions uh, one of these two of these were daytime visions just as I'm getting in my car or something like that one of them is that uh, the, the uh, there's going to be a tsunami on the East Coast and I saw this at least twice and I was standing on the on the shore at Tom's River in New Jersey when when I saw this and uh, all of a sudden the water just disappeared and I was the only one there that knew that this was a tsunami and I was screaming to people and they wouldn't listen 
What struck me about this is in both uh, visions, there was only elderly people and very young, which I took to mean upon further, you know, thinking about it, I took to mean that uh, this probably occurs after school has started, September or um, maybe early in May. But make no mistake about it, it's going to happen. I also saw that there was, uh, this was a, a daytime vision, and uh, I was getting in my truck to go to work, and all of a sudden, no electricity. My cell phone wouldn't work, the car wouldn't start, the truck wouldn't start, everything was dead, and nothing, it was, it was every single device was just gone. I, I researched that, and I found that there are two things that can cause that. One is an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse from a nuclear weapon burst in the high atmosphere. The second thing that could cause that is solar flares. Now, the next two things I'm going to tell you are very disconcerting, but make no mistake, these things are going to happen. I was not given these visions to tell you to pray that it doesn't happen, but to prepare you. Number one, I saw Chinese troops on American soil. And I saw them, they were like ants covering the land. They all had a, a weapon, and they were coming right up through where I live, right up through the hills. Um, the second thing is, is that I saw Russian paratroopers attacking, coming everywhere, low flights over cities and towns, even towns. Like every town that had 10,000 people or more was being attacked. I mean, they were everywhere. I don't know where they came from, but... and and. They were landing, they were dropping paratroopers and just shooting everything and everyone that came out. And everyone was caught by surprise. Nobody knew this was going to happen. The thing that struck me was that some of these airplanes and delivery vehicles were 75 and 80 years old. It's like the Russians saw an opportunity and took advantage of it. They knew that this was the only chance they were going to get to come get us. And they came. And they came hard. I cannot tell you that they came at the same time as the Chinese. They were two separate visions, and I just can't tell you that. I won't read into it anything more than what I was given. Now, for those of you who have been walking obediently and in love with the Lord, this is for you. He has prepared safe zones, and they are you are going to be in the midst of all of this. And it was amazing because I could see, I could see these these uh, Chinese and Russians coming through uh, a road not far away and not even being able to see us. We could see them, but they couldn't even see us. They drove right past us like we weren't even there. And I saw most of these uh, groups were 30 people to maybe 300, 500. I don't know, um, but but the Lord had them everywhere. And, and those of you who have been preparing for this, think of, um, think of the, the time of the book of Acts and, and the time when Jesus walked the earth, because he'll multiply food. Miracles are going to abound. You've been prepared for this, whether you know it or not. And people are going to come to you, uh, receive them, receive them with joy, because this is your time to shine. Take it to prayer. Good luck and God bless.